What's going on guys, this is Len from TechShift and today I want to talk to you about the Chrome OS. Now I recently did a Samsung Chromebook review but I probably left out the most important part of the review and that's what is the Chrome OS like? How, how does it feel? Is it quick? Is it worth it? Do I like it? And yes I do like the Chrome OS but let's talk a little bit about it. So how is the Chrome OS advertised? Now if you watch the Google commercials it shows the Chromebook, probably this one booting up in about 10 seconds so that is true if your machine is off it takes about 5 to 10 seconds and you're on the desktop so that is one aspect of owning the um, Chromebook operating system so that's a big plus but why is that why is it so quick to boot up well first of all you only have um, about 16 gigs of flash storage so everyone knows flash storage boots up a lot faster but that's not the main reason why it boots up this fast because you can own a MacBook Air with SSD, but it takes a little bit longer to boot up than this machine. And the reason behind it is because the Chrome OS, all of the applications, everything you do is web-based. That means using Gmail, that means using Google Chrome, that means using, you know, everything that Google has to offer, plus third-party apps, of course. Everything is an extension to a web service. Everything except for your um, files folder which allows you to download a couple of things off the internet but for the most part everything is online based and that really makes you, makes things a lot faster because you're not saving things onto your hard drive everything is cloud based so you know arguably that's a good thing but my partner set on TechShift has a video of that about that on his Google vlog so check that out if you want so, with that in mind, having everything, that's exactly what the Chrome OS is, having everything saved through cloud. And, you know, it's not, right now, in this review, it's, this vlog, it's not really about what's wrong or right, it's about how does it work, how does it function. And for the most part, it functions really, really well. You know, you get your hiccups every now and then, but... If you're, say, you're typing Google Docs and your computer, like the battery runs out, it will be saved automatically because it's stored onto Google Drive, which is their service that everything is saved on. So now let me show you a little bit of the Chrome OS. I have my Dexter bobblehead here to keep me company. And yeah, let's go. Let's see how fast it turns on. We got a timer going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About nine seconds and it's on. And of course I have to enter my password. That's one thing. And let me just get in the way so you can't see my password even though you're a million miles away. And yeah, it's on now. And let's see if I can turn the brightness down. So you can... yeah, that's a little better for you guys. And yeah, let me just give you the little walkthrough. So you have your, you know, your basic dock at the bottom. You have what it comes preloaded with Google Chrome, Gmail, Scratchpad, YouTube, your files folder, which if you do save some things online, which you're of course you're limited to your 16 gig in this this model, 16 gig um, storage space. You know you have your applications folder, which is essentially a an extensions folder. You have Google, again Chrome, Chrome Web Store, Google Search, YouTube, Google Maps, Scratchpad. Uh, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, you know, the Google Suite. You, of course, you have camera app. I downloaded Netflix. Uh, I downloaded Hangman for some reason. Uh, I downloaded an application called Sketch, uh, Sketchboard. And, yeah, so yeah, that's all your basic apps. Now, again, everything you do is web-based. Nothing is really saved onto your desktop. Everything you, you do is saved onto cl the Google's cloud, Google Drive. And let me show you right now. So, for example, if I open up Google Docs and let me just type whatever. I just typed in a sentence that doesn't make sense, but I don't even need to save it. I just exit out. And it is saved onto Google Drive. I can either go from here, click Google Drive, or just log in to the Gmail and then go click Google Drive. But yeah, in my Google Drive I have all of my files that I've been working on. And keep in mind, all of these files here, 
None of them have... I, I didn't save any of them. They just automatically save. Which, again, it's a really convenient thing if you're, you know, your battery dies on you. And, you know, you're working on important files. But personally, I wouldn't be working on too, too many important files on this. Because I still like my security. But, yeah, that's pretty much how this operating system works. Again, everything's online, so... Let me just show you how things are like without the internet, just for just for laughs. Let me just turn it off. Wi-Fi is turned off. Now, can I even play Hangman? Let's find out. Oh, Hangman is a web extension, so no, your device is offline. So again, guys, it's for some people who just want simplicity. You know, I use it to type a couple word documents, I use it to browse the web. I don't do anything fancy, that's it. But it gets the job done and it does it in a timely fashion. That's why I appreciate this operating system. So for now, I give it a thumbs up, guys. So thanks for watching this review and, well, this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the review if you guys want. Hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you.